Hello and welcome to our video on the 10 bike inventions that are expected to be popular. Cycling is a great way to get around, get exercise, and enjoy the outdoors. And with the latest technological advances, there are now more innovative and exciting bike inventions than ever before. I'll be discussing the features of each invention, as well as its potential benefits and drawbacks. I'll also be sharing some of my thoughts on how these inventions could change the way we think about and use bicycles. So if you're interested in learning more about the future of cycling, then be sure to watch this video. I hope you enjoy it. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos. Kicking off our list is the Radexpand 5 Folding Electric Bike. The Radexpand 5 Folding Electric Bike from Rad Power Bikes is a popular option for those looking for a versatile and powerful electric folding bike. It has a 750W motor, a 500WH battery, and a range of up to 45 miles. It also folds up easily and weighs 48 pounds. Here are some of the features of the Radex Band 5750W motor. This powerful motor can provide up to 28 miles per hour of assistance, making it easy to tackle hills and long rides. 500 Aparos battery. This battery provides a range of up to 45 miles, depending on the rider's weight, terrain, and assist level. Foldable design, the Radex Band 5 folds up easily and compactly making it easy to store or transport. 20-inch fat tires. These tires provide a comfortable ride and good traction on a variety of surfaces. Adjustable handlebars and seat. These features allow you to customize the fit of the bike to your individual needs. Included accessories. The Radix Band 5 comes with a rear rack, fenders, and a kickstand. The Radix Band 5 is a great choice for those looking for a powerful and versatile electric folding bike. It is perfect for commuting, running errands, or exploring the city. Overall, the Radix Band 5 is a great option for those looking for a powerful and versatile electric folding bike. It is perfect for commuting, running errands, or exploring the city. Coming in at number 7, Smart Bicycle Helmets. Smart Bicycle Helmets are a new technology that is designed to make cycling safer. These helmets have built-in sensors that can track your speed, distance traveled, and other data. They can also have GPS tracking, headlights and taillights, crash detection technology, communication features, and audio features. Here are some of the benefits of using a smart bicycle helmet. Increased visibility. The built-in lights can make you more visible to drivers, especially at night. Crash detection. The crash detection technology can send an alert to your emergency contacts if you are in an accident. GPS tracking. The GPS tracking can help you find your way back to your starting point or be used for safety purposes. Communication features. The communication features can allow you to stay connected with your phone or other devices while you are riding. Audio features. The audio features can allow you to listen to music or take calls while you are riding. Smart bicycle helmets are a relatively new technology, but they are becoming increasingly popular. They offer a number of features that can make cycling safer and more convenient. If you are looking for a way to improve your safety while cycling, a smart helmet is a great option. Moving on to number six, we have self-balancing bikes. A self-balancing bike is a type of bicycle that uses gyroscopic sensors and motors to keep itself upright. This means that the rider does not need to pedal or steer to keep the bike balanced. Self-balancing bikes are still in their early stages of development, but they have the potential to revolutionize the way we get around. There are a few different types of self-balancing bikes. One type uses a gyroscope to sense the rider's weight and adjust the bike's balance accordingly. Another type uses a Segway-like mechanism to keep the bike upright. Self-balancing bikes are still relatively expensive, but they are becoming more affordable. They are also becoming more popular, as people see the potential for this technology to make transportation more efficient and convenient. Overall, self-balancing bikes are a promising new technology that has the potential to revolutionize the way we get around. However, they are still in their early stages of development, and there are some limitations to this technology. Coming in at number 5 is 3D printed bikes. 3D printed bikes are made using a process called additive manufacturing. This process creates objects by adding layers of material, one on top of the other. 3D printed bikes can be made from a variety of materials, including plastics, metals, and composites. There are a few advantages to 3D printed bikes. First, 
They can be customized to the rider's individual needs. Second, they can be made with lightweight materials, which can make them more efficient. Third, they can be made with complex geometries that would be difficult or impossible to manufacture using traditional methods. However, there are also some challenges associated with three D-printed bikes. First, the process can be slow and expensive. Second, the materials used in 3D printing are not always as strong as traditional materials. Third, the quality of the finished product can vary depending on the printer and the settings used. Despite these challenges, 3D printed bikes are a promising new technology. As the technology continues to develop, 3D printed bikes are likely to become more affordable and accessible. This could lead to a new era of customization and innovation in the world of cycling. These are just a few of the many 3D printed bikes that have been made. As the technology continues to develop, we can expect to see even more innovative and creative 3D printed bikes in the future. Moving on to number four, we have bicycle airless tires. Airless tires are a type of bicycle tire that does not have an inner tube. Instead, they are made of a solid material, such as plastic or rubber. Airless tires are designed to be puncture-proof and require no maintenance. Airless tires have a number of advantages over traditional pneumatic tires. They are puncture-proof, so they do not need to be repaired or replaced as often. They are also more durable and can withstand more wear and tear. Additionally, airless tires are lighter than pneumatic tires, which can improve the efficiency of the bike. However, airless tires also have some disadvantages. They can be more expensive than pneumatic tires. They can also be less comfortable to ride, as they do not absorb shock as well. Additionally, airless tires may not be as good in wet conditions, as they can hydroplane more easily. Overall, Airless tires are a promising new technology that has the potential to revolutionize the bicycle industry. They are more durable, puncture-proof, and easier to maintain than traditional pneumatic tires. However, they are still relatively expensive and may not be as comfortable to ride. Moving on to number three is inflatable bike. An inflatable bike is a bike that uses inflatable tires instead of traditional pneumatic tires. The tires are made of a lightweight, durable material that can be inflated with a pump. Inflatable bikes are designed to be portable and easy to store. They are also less likely to get flats than traditional bikes. There are a few different types of inflatable bikes available. Some are designed for children, while others are designed for adults. Some inflatable bikes are also foldable, making them even more portable. Inflatable bikes are a good option for people who want a bike that is easy to transport and store. They are also a good option for people who live in areas with rough terrain, as the inflatable tires can provide more cushioning. Overall, inflatable bikes are a good option for people who are looking for a lightweight, portable bike that is less likely to get flats. However, they are not as durable or comfortable as traditional bikes. Moving on to number two is an electric cargo bike is a bicycle with an electric motor that helps to power the bike. They are designed to carry heavy loads, such as groceries, children, or work supplies. Electric cargo bikes are becoming increasingly popular as people look for more sustainable ways to get around. Here are some of the benefits of electric cargo bikes. They can carry heavy loads, making them a good option for people who need to transport groceries, children, or work supplies. They are more environmentally friendly than cars as they produce zero emissions. They are easy to ride, even for people who are not used to riding bikes. They can be folded up and stored easily, making them a good option for people who live in small spaces. Here are some of the drawbacks of electric cargo bikes. They can be expensive. They can be heavy, making them difficult to transport. They can have a limited range, depending on the battery size. Overall, electric cargo bikes are a good option for people who are looking for a sustainable and convenient way to get around. They are especially useful for people who need to carry heavy loads. Finally, at the top of our list is off-road electric bikes. Off-road electric bikes are a great way to explore the outdoors. They offer the power and pedal assist to help you tackle tough terrain while still giving you the exercise you need. Off-road electric bikes are bicycles that have an electric motor that helps to power the bike. They are designed to be ridden on rough terrain, such as dirt trails, gravel roads, and even rocks. Off-road electric bikes work by using a battery to power an electric motor. The motor is located in the hub of the rear wheel and it helps to turn the wheel when the rider pedals. 
The amount of power that the motor provides can be adjusted by the rider, so they can choose how much assistance they want. There are many benefits to owning an off-road electric bike. Here are a few of the most common benefits. They can help you explore the outdoors. Off-road electric bikes can help you explore places that you couldn't before, such as remote trails or rugged terrain. They can give you a workout. Off-road electric bikes can still give you a workout, even with the help of the electric motor. They are more environmentally friendly than cars. Off-road electric bikes produce zero emissions, making them a more environmentally friendly option than cars or motorcycles. They are fun to ride. Off-road electric bikes are a lot of fun to ride, and they can be a great way to get exercise and enjoy the outdoors. Off-road electric bikes are a great way to explore the outdoors and get exercise. If you are looking for a bike that can help you tackle tough terrain, an off-road electric bike is a great option. We hope you found this video helpful.